This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Well, aloha. How you doing? Gordo the Techs are here. Welcome to another thrilling, exciting, and fiscally responsibility episode <laughs> of Hibachi Talk. <laughs> I got my good old buddy, Rick Smauer, the Funmeister. Nice to see you, bud. Great, Gordon. It's Welcome good to, to have you here. Thank Welcome you very here. much. So pull up a chair, grab a libation, and we're going to talk money. And we're going to talk yeah. about the sitting and counting of Honolulu. Right and uh, their upcoming <laughs> budget for 2019. So we kind of got into it last week with uh, uh, Natalie Awasa, who's running for city council on District 4. Right. I watched that, and, you know, that was really a good show. And if some of the folks that are listening today haven't seen that, that might be a great show to... To, to segue come, into yeah, this one, into yeah, because we're going to talk about the budget that's, yeah. that's being proposed with the city. Now, what makes this... Unique, and then a couple of things. One is the City Council Budget and Finance Committee yesterday did not have quorum. So there could be no presentation or testimony on the budget. And that was going to be their first meeting on the budget. The proposed budget. So you're hearing the budget here first. So there's been nothing in the news about the budget. We're going to present. A, a high level view of the budget. And the finance committee, they have to hear the budget three times. Hear three times. And so now it's already delayed at least right. one week. And it's got to be heard and reported to the city council and heard again, again. and reported to the city council and reported again and then, or heard again, and then the city council has to have the three readings too before they can make that. And, and they've, got to, they've got to have that budget done and approved before the end of June of this year. Right, and we know how fast they work down at the sitting and counting. <laughs> so, so this is going to be interesting. And, so, um, and, and we bring a little bit of expertise to the table. So it's not like we're sitting here and pontificating on things that we don't have experience about. So you did a two-year stint as the budget and finance director of this city. And I you did. did a lot of cool things when you were there. <laughs> and I, I was the IT director, and I had to deal with you. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Anyway, um, but, but yeah, you got what you needed. You just had to. Oh, I thought you were going to say I got what I deserved. <laughs> <laughs> well, that too. Yeah. Okay. But you did. But we had some pretty good successes when we were there, and I think it's good we that had, we bring these out first before we dive into this two point six yeah. one billion dollar operating budget. Right. Because I think, you know, we really brought some fiscal responsibility to or improve the fiscal responsibility that the city had. And I think that was for, really, the citizens. Yeah, it was. Uh, we put in a, a totally state-of-the-art financial system and payroll system on time and on, on budget. budget, in government. Totally unheard of. And, you know, i got to give Mufi credit. Love him or hate him, he was a strong boss, and he drove that, he drove that train. He drove that train, and he drove fiscal fiscal responsibility for the, certainly the time that I, that I was there. I could I could certainly see that, right. and the guidance and the policy that he had was driving fiscal, fiscal responsibility. responsibility. Right, and so and, and so back in two thousand and when was this? Two thousand nine and two thousand ten. So yeah. um, during that period of time, you lowered our uh, interest rates. We, on our borrowing? Yeah, well, that's because of some... But I think some of the things that Mayor Hanneman was doing there as, you know, as part of that. I think you know, some of the things that we, we got to remember is that you, you took all of those financial systems that we just talked about and you put them online yes. so that, so that the, uh, the citizens of the city, yeah, well, anyone who had internet, right. they could come in. And they could see, and they could... They and it's could, still there today. It's still there. So and this people, is why we have this information today, because right. you are watching this. You can Google 
fiscal 2019 city and county of Honolulu budget, and you get the entire 300 and some odd pages yeah. of the budget in agonizing detail. Yeah. Which was never there before. But, you know, it's kept, it's hard to take it away when it's been put up yeah. there. And people that are interested, they now have direct access to it. They don't have to ask, you know, call up either the administration or call up their council member and say, oh, can you tell me what this is? Can you tell me what, you know, or, or what this number is going to be? Yeah. And it's, it's all there online. And it's broken down by department, yeah. by line item, by full-time equivalent employee. Exactly. So there, there's a lot of good reasons why you may want to get on as a citizen and look and say, you know, I'm interested in transportation services, right. or I'm interested in environmental services, or I'm interested in climate. Now, I don't know why we have a department on climate, but now the city has a department on climate, which costs money, and there's more people in the climate department than there is in the ethics department. There's something wrong with that picture, as far as I'm that, concerned. Yeah, and I would agree with you on that as well, because in my mind, the state should really be le taking the lead on climate. climate. Well, and maybe on ethics, too. <laughs> yeah, maybe on ethics, too. But the state has multiple climate departments. Of one of was just audited by the auditor and said yeah, that we yeah, don't understand what auditor, they do. Yeah. They haven't done anything. Yeah. So, I mean, all of these full-time equivalent employees and the departments cost money. So let's, let's look at money. Fiscal That's year 2019, where we're going to go. We're going to throw up a pie chart here. We're going to show you where your money's going. Yeah. Because the money comes from us yep. and, you know, either through taxes, you know, Whatever. general general tax. So here's, two, excise, here's, tax, like, here's, so here's where it gets the money. Too. Here's where we there get the go. money. So here's 2019 operating budget for this, proposed operating budget for the city and county of Honolulu. And please, but just take a look at this for a second because there's a couple things I want to bring to your attention. It's $3.32 billion. That's billion. Not, yeah, and B. And the difference between a million and a billion, I use this as an example all the time, a million seconds is 12 days, a billion seconds is 32 years. So that's what we're talking here. Yeah. We're talking three, we're talking a full lifetime here, if not more, right. a lifetime and a half. Yeah. of what we're talking, $3.32 billion. And, and, and real property tax equates to 37% of that. Okay. That's yours, yours and my real estate tax. Yeah. But look at, look, let's bring the chart up. And I'm going to get where my heartburn is. Okay. Yeah. I, I think that 37% is a great comment because that sort of says, okay, I can, I can put that around. Let's use that as a benchmark. Right. And how do other things compare? Come from that. But let's look at carryover, which yeah. is the one that drives me crazy. A 20 plus 23.86% carryover. That's three quarters of a billion dollars. Three quarters of, of a, a billion, billion dollars, dollars that's sitting there in carryover. I thought we were doing zero based budgeting. Yeah. Well, let's talk about what the carryover really means. Yeah, what does that mean? Because what that means is that's money that has been collected by the city. Right. But, and that is in, in the current year and prior years. Right. That has not been spent. Has not been spent. Not been spent. Three quarters of a billion dollars years. not spent. What was the carryover when you were the director of budget and finance? The last one when I did the the 2011 budget yeah. was roughly 65 billion not dollars. Not B. M. Or I'm sorry, million. Yeah. Million, 65 million. Million dollars. Yeah, 65 million versus three quarters of a billion, billion now. dollars. So this is carryover, which I take as money that was collected but never spent. spent. And if we, if the city never spent it, then really they should have never collected, collected that it from money. us. Yeah. And now it's more than ten times the amount of that it was ten years was ago. Not even ten years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Seven years seven ago. Seven years ago. In seven years the money that they are collecting and are not spending 
is more than ten times what it used so, to be. So here's, here's comes back to my well, other and there, Can I say uh, there are two things about that? Yeah. One is the administration, that's the mayor, they're requesting that. Right. But the other thing is the city or the, the city council, council, they're approving that request. Right. So there are those two pieces of the city government right. that have increased the money they're requesting and are not spending by 10 times right. In seven, in seven years. years. I mean, so we got a quarter, three quarters of a billion dollar float. It's kind exactly. of like how I'm looking at it. That's right? in somebody's bank That's account. That's someone, yeah, it could be in territorial. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> we're going down another path. I shouldn't. Anyway, so, but, but here's my other point. If you look at the chart, 40 plus percent of the expenditures in the yes. operating budget give us no services. It pays off debt. 20% in debt, 21% yeah. on what's classified by this administration as miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. EUT, another billion. 20% of $3.2 billion. billion. And so, is miscellaneous? Miscellaneous. Is it, it's always FICA, EUTF. There's you know, the, the, some that they but, say. But, et cetera. Yeah. I always use it's, a lot on et cetera. Yeah. But we should know, what is that more than yeah. this? So I think the city council should be asking, we want a breakdown of this. Yeah. And the also thing I think they should be saying is, and this is where you and I can have a, a good conversation, I think a significant portion of that money that's in the carryover should pay down the debt service. Well, and I think a little bit different okay. about you, that the carryover should go to fund the, um, the, the unfunded uh, unfunded pension, little bit, yeah, the liability, unfunded liabilities, pension yeah, liability. pension liabilities, yeah. And Either way, we win. But yes, either, and I think that's why the city council has to have a really strong conversation about what is, you know, we have this money, yes, we didn't spend it, it in prior years. Yes. If we're going to ask for it now, what is it going to be spent? spent. Four. It should not be carried over into another year. Especially if we're doing zero base budgeting. Okay, exactly. we got to take a So, we, yeah, now we got to take a break. Yeah. I told you, this goes fast, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, if we're going to take a break. We're going to go pay some bills <laughs> with money we have, not from our debt service, and we'll be back in about a minute. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. Match day is no ordinary day. The pitch, hallowed ground for players and supporters alike. Excitement builds. Game plans are made with responsibility in mind. Celebrations are underway. Ready for kickoff, MLS clubs and our supporters rise to the challenge. We make responsible decisions while we cheer on our heroes and toast their success. Elevate your match day experience. If you drink, never drive. Aloha, Gordo the Tech Star here. Welcome, 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 welcome everybody. Back. <laughs> I'm here with my good old buddy Ricks, the uh, former budget and finance director of the sitting and counting in Honolulu, <laughs> uh, former DIT director, and we're talking about the upcoming um, budget for budget? the city and county that um, was supposed to get its first hearing uh, yesterday, but um, uh, there's the city council is in a little bit of turmoil right now. A wee bit. A wee bit, and so they, was, they weren't didn't have a quorum, and um, it's been delayed. But we're going to bring it to you first. So in the first half, we talked about 2019, the carryover, and how it should be spent. But I just want to show that this doesn't wasn't just 2019. Look at 18. I'm going to bring up the chart for 2018. The carryover in 2018 was 29.16 percent. So they spent some of it because now carryover is only 23, 22 percent, say. So there was a spend there. But guess what? We now we have a we now have a, a history. 
So we can say, guess what? You can have 6% carryover. Maybe a 6% carryover yeah. or 10% carryover is fine, but the rest of it's going to go to, how about what? back to you and I? Yeah. How about we reduce our property taxes? Well, that'd be good. Other, what about our uh, car registration? Oh, we're going to raise the fees. Uh, we're going to, yeah, so guess yeah. what? We're raising car fees. We're raising. Oh, that's proposed. That's proposed. Yeah. We've got but all these, we've got the all these things? increases. Yeah. Why do we need these increases when we've got three quarters of a billion dollars of carryover? Right. And are we really, and that means that this, the city has requested and gotten approved for three quarters of a billion dollars that. They did in 18. Yeah. The city council approved three quarters of a billion dollars, if not more, yeah. for um, carryover. Yeah. For and, what? And and now they're going to have three quarters of a billion dollars, seven hundred and fifty million dollars that they got appropriated yeah. and didn't spend. Yeah. I mean, this Please. is this is giving me heartburn. And then they're yeah. going to borrow. We're going to float bonds. Yeah. We're going to float bonds to pay for rail. But also going to float bonds to pay for their operating budget of rail, I heard from Natalie last week, which means that we're using our credit card to pay for our operating expenses. Yeah. It's like you and I running up our credit card and making the minimum monthly exactly. payment. Exactly. And, and, and we get the money. If we go back to the, the uh, fixed base budget. Yeah, zero base budget. Zero base budget. Yeah. yeah. That means that they are asking for... Three, three quarters of a billion dollars more <laughs> this year than they're spending last year. Yeah, that's not a that's not a, it's a zero base budget. That's not a, no, that's not zero base budgeting. Or, or if it if it is, what's the seven hundred and fifty million dollar increase? It's over what they're going to spend. Yeah. This year. Is it like, like, so the question becomes, okay, well, those funds are encumbered. Okay, what does that mean? You've yeah. got signed contracts. Well, those have two-year term limits on capital they ones, do. at least a lot. Yes. They have those. So there's term limits on the, on the contracts. And, that's, and is it to fund FTEs that we don't have, yeah. you know, full-time equivalents with employees right. that we don't have? So we're squirreling that away as well? Yeah. I mean, there's just three-quarters of a billion dollars. If they were saying, like, Three million dollars. Okay, that I can live with it, but not three quarters of a billion dollars. Yeah. With all the stuff that's exactly. going on right now. Exactly. It just doesn't make sense. And maybe I'm dumber than a doorknob, and but you know. And maybe I've missed something over. And the, yeah, the maybe you've missed something years, over, and you've been in finance for as long as a year dirt. or two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you know, so here, so we're just going to kind of, kind of look at this thing. So um, I want to bring up. There's a slide. Uh, I want to show a five-year history of resources and expenditures, just to give everybody a sense. It's, you know, I think it might be slide number six on uh, on the deck that I put out there. And you just want to take a look. It's like it's never going. I notice it's never going down. <laughs> you notice that? <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 you know, it's never, never, ever going down. If you take a look at. Um, uh, no, bring up the, the next one after this, which is going to be a, a bar chart, five years. There we go. Five-year history of resources and expenditures. And by the way, all of this is available online. Yes. So, so, you know, this is all available for you, Mr. and Mrs. Citizen, to look at where your money is going. Their hand is in your pocket, and you <laughs> need to be paying attention to this by department. So um, you can start looking at this. But, here, you know, every year, every year it's going up. Every year it's going up. The operating expenditures are going up. Capital expenditures are going up. It just continues to go up. Yet we've got a one, three quarters of a billion dollar. I'm not going to let this up. Three quarters of a billion dollar carryover. Yes. Yet they keep increasing the budget. I noticed they're increasing. Now, they decreased the carryover from 18 to 19. So we'll give them credit for that. Yes, they, they spent some of the They carryover. spent some of that carryover, two? but it's still three quarters of a billion dollars. Yeah. I think, I think 50 million dollar carryover is good enough. Yeah. Maybe 100. 60, 60 to 80 yeah, would be. Maybe fine. Yeah. But we on, a, on a three point, what, six billion, billion dollar budget. 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 I think okay. that would be fine and yeah. reasonable. And oh, by the way, if you are so aggressive and so good at getting things done, that you've used up that money yeah. properly, then you go back to the debt service that you've been paying down and take a little bit more out of it. You have it anyway. Yeah. It's not like well, a line of credit. Yeah. You've got the money anyway. And, you know, if, 
if we wanted to go, or I shouldn't say we, but if the city council said, or the, the city council and or the mayor were to say, you know what, we want to, we have spent all of our uh, pothole money and we'd like to, we'd like to do some more, more. pothole work. Then here's another I think $10 the city million dollars would go know, in I a heartbeat. Get 10 more million? Yeah. I think the city council would give you that money like that. Except they'd be squabbling over whose district gets the potholes okay. fixed well, first. Yeah. That would be, so my thought would be you give each city council yeah. um, person a million dollars for their particular for their, district, then you don't have to worry about the squabbling over ours first for the which other. Which one is it? I don't think we're, <laughs> you know... There's a lot of potholes out there, and it seems like there are a lot more today. I know the mayor says I'm spending all of this money, but quite frankly, it looks like there's a, my car feels like there's a lot oh, more potholes. Uh, we won't talk today. about the damaged shocks that I've had to replace because of the of the uh, I just pothole. replaced about a thousand dollars. So so and, and and so and I don't know if they're still doing it, but back when I was there, if they repaired the same hot pothole five times. They counted that as five pothole repairs. Yeah. No, no, no. That's one pothole repair right. that you've screwed up four other times. Yeah. And so, and we use... And it didn't last. And, and we use, we use um, sub materials. And I can go back to a previous show where we've had um, pothole and asphalt experts on our show and say that the city is famous for using um, uh, substandard materials. And that's why these potholes come back time and time again. I'm um, new Wano, I mean, the same potholes keep coming back and they keep yes. painting the same circles yes. around them yes. you know, all the time. It's like it gets filled and then a month later it's back. Yeah. Because Kalani they're using... Kalaniani Highway. Yeah, yeah. No. That's the state. That's, yes, that's the it was state. It's a combination of both, actually. And the, and the state has said, yes, we've gotten federal funds to do that. Yeah. But that was a year and a half ago. Yeah, and it's still there. Yeah. So, and, and we don't have snow. <laughs> yeah. So, so I got to tell you, this yeah. is a, a true story. So, I was in Utah a couple weeks ago, and I came across. There was a sign on the road that said, on uh, said yellow sign said "damaged road," and I said, "Wow, look at this! The state or the city is um, giving me a heads up that the road ahead is damaged." So, I drove for like a mile. I kept waiting to find the damaged road. Now, there was a couple of minor cracks or whatever, but they classified that as a damaged road. I'm thinking, yeah. man, we'd have to spend a, a, a million dollars in signs. Just to say, damaged road. Damaged road. Yeah. Did we had men said damaged, they, and they'd be up there forever. <laughs> and then they'd have to get permission from the um, the poll committee on what, right. whether or not they could put it on. Yeah. <laughs> well, here we go again. So all, all the extra people we have out there. Okay, so so we're kind of. But the outdoor circle, there would be so many. <laughs> there'd be so many signs. <laughs> the, the outdoor circle would go crazy. Yeah, there'd that, be so there's, many. There's signs. so many yellow signs saying yeah. damaged roads. We're giving the wrong impression. <laughs> no, we're not. I'm saving my tires in my car and my shocks. So, so what do you think? So, what are we going to? Uh, you know, I'm I'm going to be submitting some testimony. I hope that many of the. Um, um, the viewers will s s submit some testimony, and, and I mean, mine's going to be focusing on the three things: is like the carryover, the unfunded liabilities, and the miscellaneous, which is you know, FICA pension fund contributions and all those kinds of things, which is forty percent, which gives us n nothing in return. Yeah, it's just an ongoing the amount. Forty percent of, of my money is not yes. giving me anything. Yeah. So it's like walking into the store and it's, I'm going to buy yeah. a chocolate bar. For a dollar, but it's going to cost me a dollar forty because I'm going to give you forty cents more for nothing. Right, and you're going to have to pay general excise tax on that as oh, well. Oh, thank you. There we yeah. go. And the state's got <laughs> a surplus. Right. So though the state has a surplus. Uh, well, there you go. And so, and here's the other thing. Okay, yeah. so, so you and I were involved in that. So and, we, and how much? You know. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> this is a little off track. I, I need a brown yeah. paper bag. I'm hyperventilating here. Yeah. <laughs> so what is what is the state? going to do with that surplus as well. Are, again, are they going to take that money next year? Or are they going to actually use that to reduce the money that they're going to ask? The for unfunded that? liabilities that there you talked you about earlier, $14 oh. billion. Dollars. Do you think they have a pen, an unfunded pension liability? Uh, I heard it was a little bit. I think it was $14 billion. $14 billion. Billion. yeah. Unfunded yeah. liabilities for pensions and all of those so kinds of things. $14 billion. How Give the union a shock. Yeah, how many, <laughs> how many, second, how many years of seconds so would it take 14 for 14 billion? billion times, and, uh, that's 30, 30, 32 <laughs> years times 14. 14 that's yeah. 400 years. That's <laughs> 400 years worth of debt we yeah. have out there. Yeah. 
<laughs> if, yeah, if, <laughs> I mean, we, if we paid a dollar off every second, every second, something like that. Yeah, I don't know how it, that works. It's just, yeah. it's just crazy. It's just crazy. So I mean, it's you know, we need to, we need to, um, um, as citizens, we need to pay closer attention to this. We can't yeah. let them be, you know, doing these kinds of, um, you know, smoke and mirror things with with the numbers. I want some real numbers on the uh, uh, when I'm when I'm there, right. uh, and giving some testimony down there. Um, uh, we should put pressure on our council members because they're the ones that are approving the carryover. They're There's the ones the that have to that have to yeah. uh, provide the votes right to get that yeah. to get the budget passed. Yeah. And, and what we didn't see here, but I'm sure it probably is online, is, you know, for the real property tax, there are two pieces of that. What is the value of the property? Right. But then what is the, uh, the rate that they're charging? That are being, yeah. And, and, you know, and it is. And, if you go there, it is in there. It talks about yeah, and uh, I'm sure value there. and the rates. Right. But the real question there is, at least for the property that, that I own and perhaps yours as well, that the property value, the assessed property value, that's gone it's up. It's all gone up. Year over year. Yes. Now, for the city to keep the same amount of money, they would have to lower the tax rate yes. if the assessed value goes up. Right. So the rate should go down. To Theoretically, the rate, rate should, should go, go down. down. If the rate is not going down, that, going that means that same rate, more assessed value, the city's getting more money so, off of just, and that's just math. And so, and so, so let's if say they raising, increase the rate yeah. and at the same time the values are going up, right. it's a double hit on us. Yeah. Especially fixed income right. individuals. And the real question, I guess, in my mind is to keep the, the property tax level year over year. If the assessed value goes up, city, you should bring your, you rate your rates down, down especially to, to, keep, cover. to keep our tax, our, our tax check the same. Reasonable. Yes, I agree. So anyway, we just burned through 30 minutes. And you can tell we're a little bit um, um, animated about this. <laughs> um, I hope you pay attention to this. I hope you go online. Just Google um, City and County Honolulu Fiscal Year Budget 2019. The 300 and some odd page document is right there by department in great detail. There's an executive summary. I mean, my hat's off for having it all there. So it's available to us and for us to look at it. And if you've got a concern about something, then write in testimony. You don't have to go down there nope. and wait in line. Write in testimony and send it to your council member. Absolutely. And that's what we've got to do. Anyway, Mr. Maurer, sir, it's been a pleasure. Mr. Bruce, my father. Okay. <laughs> and so, and like we say at the end of every, uh, end of every show, one, two, three, and how, how are you, you doing? doing?